So well, lumayan na si TV. Mr. Back to you. At andito nga pala tayo ngayon sa isang secret hideout na kung saan dito natagpuan ang napakaimba CEO. Oo, CEO. Nang Razer, naman lang iba kundi si Mr. Min Piantan. At kami dito sa Mines TV ay nabigyan ng isang once in a lifetime na pagkakataon na kung saan may interview namin siya. So, paano guys? Tara na! Well, from Minesky Impressive at nandito nga pala sa aking kaliwa ang isa or how should I say it as one of the most um, approachable CEOs that I've ever seen especially in social media of course he's no other than the CEO of Razer Mr. Min Liangtan uh, Sir, good afternoon Good afternoon It's a pleasure to meet you It is a real pleasure um, First of all um, we all know that uh, Razer is definitely the best uh, company in terms of selling gaming peripheral products like mouse, keyboards, and uh, headsets. Um, but can you tell us something more about Razer as a whole? Sure, absolutely. Well, um, Razer essentially isn't really like a business. You know, for us, it's, it's a passion, it's fun for us. And um, essentially what we want to do is really just do one thing, which is design and build really phenomenal product. So it's, it's not just, as you've mentioned, mice, keyboards, and that's, that's just parts of what I think the whole Razer culture is about. But you know, anyone who uses our products or, or comes up on our Facebook page or, 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 or follows our Twitter feed knows that we really follow this whole motto of for gamers by gamers. Um, so you know, we, we really want to do some kick-ass stuff or, or, or build some crazy things like the Razer Blade and, and things like that. But essentially, it's all about being a gamer. And that's what Razer is about. You know, one of the things I'm very active on social media. I, I, I like to reach out to the to the fans. Essentially, I like to hear feedback about our products and stuff like that. And along the way, I think there have been a lot of um, uh, Filipino gamers who have been tweeting me and posting and stuff like that. And it, it got me really interested. And I've been hearing a lot of the work that we've been doing in, in, in the Philippines. And I've been looking at the great results from some of the esports uh, teams, Mineski, etc., from from this region. So that's been great, and I think the community here is really, really interesting. Um, it's very positive. Uh, there's a lot of excitement about gaming over here. So this time around, I think uh, there are actually three gaming events that kind of clashed with uh, PGF. There was the uh, Brazil Game Show. There was the um, uh, there was another event in, in London. But I thought it was due uh, time for me to come over and check out what's happening here in the Philippines. And this is my first time here. I just touched down after a 20-hour flight. Uh, oh. Uh, last night, uh, but uh, unfortunately I'm flying out tomorrow, but I'm trying to get as much opportunity as possible to check out what's going on and tomorrow I get to go to, uh, you know, on the ground. I, I like meeting the gamers myself face to face, find out about the products and how they, they like it or what they don't like about it. Um, so it's, it's a good opportunity for me to do that. Well, I can say that you won't be disappointed tomorrow because Filipino gamers are, I mean, every Filipino fans in the gaming scene is really um, Hardcore passion. Yeah. yeah, that's what I that's what I see on, on social media. So I really want to kind of see it, uh, you know, first in real time. life firsthand to see what it's going to be like. Well, I think on on a couple of levels, um, the first of which is that we saw a lot of potential, um, and uh, I think that was probably where this whole thing started. We saw a lot of potential with Mineski, and uh, as a whole, it seemed like a representative of what um, esports could be for the for the Filipino scene. So we really wanted to do something to say that, look, you know, we want to give every opportunity, you know, to, to make sure they get the best gear possible, get the best opportunities and out there. And I must say that in the past couple of years, we have not been disappointed, yeah. you know? And, and, and we are proud to have been part of it, that, um, you know, this is, this is not just about us as a, as a brand, but, you know, really building an entire culture. So like, like you know, myself, when I first started out, most people said, look, gaming is a waste of time, right? And, and this is one of those things where we told ourselves that if there is potential, right, in, in gaming, we wanted to be able, as Razer, to be able to support it, such that other people can also say that, look, you know, hey, maybe it's not a waste of time. Look at these guys. It's, it's, it's a way to break up. It's a way to, to step up in the, in the global scene. Mm -hmm. 
And um, that's stuff that we want to do, that to change the mindsets of, of people who don't understand gaming, to really look at gaming and, going, and go, wow, you know, I, I had no idea that it was so big and it, it, there's so much potential. That's what we're trying to do. And, and I'm glad, you know, Mineski is one of the first steps that we have taken to get there. Well, I, firstly, I view myself as a member of the gaming scene yeah. first, then CEO of Razer. Um, <laughs> well, I, I think one of the things that we, we see is that it's, it's not just the teams that is important, it's the entire uh, infrastructure that is important that we need to really focus on building up. So it's, it's things like, um, you know, uh, supporting the tournaments over here. It's also supporting, you know, the, the, uh, the media, for example, the media covering esports or the media covering gaming. Um, it's also getting, you know, working with uh, the local gamers over here. So for that matter, like, uh, you know, like a good friend of, of Razer, Lodia, you know, yeah. she's uh, going to be participating in Pinoy uh, Game Fest together with us. I mean, she's a legit gamer, you know, and, and she's one of those people that we found um, kind of encapsulated a lot of things that Razer represented. So I think it's working with the, with the local um, teams and, and, and the local gamers. And on top of that, every opportunity that we can get to, to really give back to the community is important. So one of the reasons why um, uh, I'm here also for PGF is uh, recently there was this unfortunate earthquake, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that I'm sure you guys are all yeah. very aware of. And but this was something that was really quick. You know, I read about it on, on social media. In fact, I had some of the Filipino gamers tweet me about it. And very quickly, you know, we, uh, we gave a call. This was like two days ago. And we said, look, what can we do as gamers to give back to the community? Because it's a couple of fold. One is we want to be able to show that, look, gamers can give back to the community. And as Razer, we're going to be the ones to say, look, you know, let me put our, our money where our mouth is. We took, we're taking our entire apparel store at PGF um, that we actually shipped across here, we plan to, to do, to sell and all that kind of stuff. But we're going to change that whole thing. All proceeds from the apparel store are going to go straight to the Philippine um, Red Cross. So that's something that uh, we are hoping we'll raise at least 10,000 US dollars or about 500,000 uh, pesos. Yeah, almost half a million. Yeah, that, and I think what is more important is that we're going to do this together as gamers. You know, and that's one of those things that we really want to be able to do together with the gamers over here. This is the reason play, this is my reason yeah. play. I was actually playing Hearthstone on it just now. Um, I think the razor blade kind of represents more than just uh, the product, you know. It's it's essentially like the essence of what Razer is about. So a couple of years ago, maybe about five years ago, I wanted to look for a gaming laptop. And uh, you know I travel a lot and, yeah. and you know I, I, I need portability and stuff like that. But l gaming laptops traditionally have always been like two inches thick and, mm -hmm. and really, really heavy. Now, when I went out to look for, for an ultra-thin, ultra-powerful laptop, everyone told me, look, you know, that's not a gaming laptop, or that doesn't exist. It's impossible to build something like that. And I said, look, you know, I don't think it's impossible. It's like being a gamer, right? Every time you play a game, if you get stuck in a, a roadblock, you're not going to give up and just say, forget about it. You're just going to go again and again and again and again until you get through it. You can't get through it, you go on Wikipedia, you look for a walkthrough, you look for whatever, right? So, what, what we did was we went out, we acquired an entire team. We built and designed our own products over three or four years mm -hmm. to get to what we wanted to do. And this is the world's first, what we believe to be the world's first true gaming laptop. Not a gaming luggable, but, but something which is ultra powerful and ultra thin and light at the same time. So we did something that the entire industry thought was impossible. This has got a GTX 765M. It runs oh, Battlefield 3 at ultra. It's super thin. It's super light. It's thinner than a than a dime. It's um, it meets the Ultrabook spec, you know, from from being mm -hmm. super thin. But it blows the Ultrabook spec out of the water because it's got such a powerful amount of uh, performance inside this. And um, you know, I think what's really funny is that all the people that laughed at it when it first came out or said it was impossible, two years later, they're all copying this. So it, it's kind of representative of what we've done with you know, gaming mice. So we created the first gaming mouse and we've done gaming keyboards. Back then when people said, look, it's a waste of time. Nobody wants to do things for gamers. And now we're generations ahead and we've created an entire industry. Yeah. And that's what, uh, that's what we do. I think we're always taking feedback. I think that's one of the, the key things about, about Razer. We are very close to the community and that's something that we, we think it's very important um, as a company. 
uh, for gamers by gamers, we, we think it's uh, the motto which, which we really hold dear. Uh, I'm trying to think of something specific. Um, and, and oftentimes it's not just one bit of a, a feedback. We get feedback from thousands of gamers and a lot of it just gets put all together into all our products, so to speak. Um, so off the top of my head, I really can't think of anything that really came up from the community specifically. But a good example would probably be the uh, Fighting Stick Aatrox recently. Oh. So we announced this, and, and this gives you an idea of how long it takes to, to design a Razer product. Mm -hmm. We announced it about two and a half years ago <laughs> at uh, Tokyo Game Show. We made at least 300 of these, um, and each of these prototypes cost about $1,000. So there were three uh, thousand US dollars. So there were three hundred thousand US dollars, and ship them to gamers all around the world. These are normal gamers, beta testers, and we got them to give us beta feedback. And with their feedback, we went back and we we iterated and iterated and iterated again. So today we probably make the best fighting stick in the world. It's called the Razer Aatrox, um, and it's the best not because we say so, but because we've got hundreds of beta testers that have worked with us same gamers that are passionate about fighting games that have helped us design this. Well, you know, where Razer is today is pretty much how it was when we first started. Um, we've always wanted to focus on the fact that we are here to have fun and to build great product. Uh, it was not ever supposed to be like a serious business or something that stresses us out, you know, and it makes us unhappy. We think life is too short for that. So, you know, essentially, I see us four to five years from now pretty much the same as today. You know, we're having fun. Maybe we are slightly larger, slightly smaller. It doesn't really bother us. We just want to really focus on making the best possible product and continue to do that over and over again, um, just for gamers. Because there have been people who come to us and say and tell us, "Hey, Min, you know, you can, you can do this or you can do that. You can make so much money. You know, why don't you do that?" And the thing is, I think we 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 we're doing this because of passion. And we're doing this because we think it's fun. Um, I think sometimes when you put too much business into anything, you tend to get a little bit more unhappy. And life is too short to be unhappy. I will get stressed out about uh, revenues or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We're doing this because we want to just be focused on, on gaming and on our gamers. We are doing this because we want a great design, great product. And uh, four to five years from now, I really hope we are doing the same thing. Oh, wow. Um, so the thing about our, our events and our booths is it's all built around gaming and it's all built around, around having fun. In fact, um, you realize that a lot of our booths is, is not so much um, focused on, on selling or anything yeah. like that. For us, it's about the culture, it's about what Razer is about. Um, what will be a main focus is actually the charity that we're really running. Mm -hmm. We're going to be focusing on trying to um, get as many people aware of what we're trying to do for the gamers, for the community. So I think that's that's one thing, you know, the charity for the um, the earthquake relief. Um, secondly, I think you will see some uh, personalities there. Elodia, her sister Ashley will also be performing um, at our booth. So that's very cool. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think thirdly, overall, you know, you'll be able to see all kinds of our latest gaming Fans gear. Will definitely um, want to see your booth or the Razer babes. I mean, uh, I, I saw some posts already that. Last year there were only two razor babes, uh -huh. but I think now they're they're now six or five. So definitely. Well, I'm looking forward to that myself. Yeah, <laughs> you, you should definitely look forward to them. I will. I always look forward to it. Uh, then next one, I think you've already you always encounter this question, um, the razor toaster. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a common question. I think um, there are fans already razor uh, fans of your company already. I think made a Facebook fan page as well, wherein the title yes. is give us the razor toaster so that is correct <laughs> so any plans on um technically um coming uh, up with the coming razor up toaster? with the razor toaster um well to be honest <laughs> it, it came out like like a joke and stuff like that and uh i said you know if it hits a million likes for the page i will definitely make one and uh, if we do make one i will say that we will design it like any razor product we will put a lot of effort and we will Make sure it's the ultimate toaster, but until it reaches a, and and seriously, I think we could design a really kick-ass toaster. Yeah. But um, we'll have to see the page hit a million likes first, and we'll see. It's up to the hands of the community. Yeah. Well, so guys, one million likes. <laughs> Enough said. Uh, well, 
I need a very simple life, actually, in general. Um, you know, if I'm in a, a specific office, for example, I can eat the same thing for years, for lunch, you know, for, for, for years, literally. Um, and even when it comes to clothing and things like that, uh, it, it's, not, uh, it's not something that weighs on my mind. So, you know, when it comes to food or when it comes to, to clothing, I think what is the simplest or the most straightforward is good enough for me. For me, you know, there are, there's so little time in a day. I don't want to waste it on, on anything except for focusing on design of, of product and having fun, of course, with games yeah. at the same time. Those are the things I'm passionate about. And essentially, I channel all my efforts, all my time on uh, pretty much these two things. And that's it. So to me, it's a very simplistic life. It's minimalist to a certain extent. I like a the black shirt and the v-neck, it, 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 it's, very, it's very useful. I can, uh, in, if I'm in um, uh, a colder climate, you know, I'll have a long sleeve version of it. If I'm in uh, uh, Southeast Asia, it's tropical, I'll wear a short sleeve version of it. And uh, life is simple. So and it's faster. <laughs> and I can focus on design. So you're like the Steve Jobs of, uh, of Razor, uh, if, if I must say. I wouldn't say that, but uh, <laughs> you know, um, I think it's it's really having no perception of anything else except for what I'm really focused on, which is which is designing product, and that's what we really want to do. Um, I think it's it's really three things um, in essence. The first of which is technology, and I think that's where the core is. We pioneered the first gaming mouse. Um, we have built our own gaming laptop, right? everything from scratch, because we've got some of the best technologists, we've got some of the best designers and some of the best engineers in the world. We are probably one of the few gaming companies that does all of this in-house. So what we do is that with the technology we have, we're actually a couple of generations ahead of everyone else. So if you look at the rest of the industry, which we created, right, whenever we launch something, a couple of months later, people will all follow the features that we've created. So from, from high DPI, uh, sensors from optical laser when we launched it people followed when we've done cloud-based um, profiles which I think we launched about a year and a half ago right now you'll see soon I, I predict people following you know features and copying it at the same time but the key thing about technology is while you copy you can't innovate you can't be the first so that's why we tend to be generations ahead because we're investing in, in R&D so that's technology Secondly, we've got design. So we've got some of the best ergonomic scientists, we've got some of the best industrial designers in the market, and what we do is that we spend an incredible amount of time beta testing this with pro gamers who help us, um, general gamers who give us feedback and things like that at the same time. Bless you. I'm sorry. Um, thirdly, you know, uh, we are very focused just on gaming and nothing else. So that's one of the key things that um, we don't get distracted uh, with, with anything else. People have asked us, why don't you build this and, and, and it, it could sell so much more? Why don't you try uh, medical or, or, or military and, and, and do that kind of stuff? So we've looked at it and, got, and we've gone, well, you know, our motto is for gamers, by gamers. That's all we're interested in. So we've got kick-ass technology, we've got kick-ass design, we're focused just on gaming. Those are pretty much the three points. Uh, I think we do that constantly because you know, it's like people ask us, do we look at a competition? And um, we don't. Because the bar today is ourselves. Um, everything that we launch tends to be so ahead of everyone else. And it's hard for us to look at the rest of the industry to compare. So it's always about setting the bar higher over and over again for ourselves. So that's, that's, a, tough, that's a tough bit. Well, um, thank you for the interview, sir. It was, uh, it was a pleasure of mine, I mean, the whole gaming community, to have such a wonderful um, talk with you. No, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you, thank you for having me here in the Philippines. I'm, I'm excited to, to be at the uh, PGF and uh, meeting up with all of the fans. Yeah, thank you. So guys, um, ayun na nga, you na. The CEO has spoken. Uh, watch out for Mr. Min Liang Tan at the Pinoy Gaming Festival on October 26 and 27 at the World Trade Center. And of course, the Razor Babes and the Razor products as well. So once again, this is Will from Minesky Events Team. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.